Hello and welcome to day five of Discover Yoga, our five-day yoga challenge for absolute beginners. You've made it through all five days. I hope you feel so proud of yourself. I'm really happy you joined me. And if you're wondering what your next step is after this yoga challenge, well then I would love to invite you to come join my online yoga studio, Lifelong Yoga. That's lifelong.yoga. That's the URL. So come check us out. See if that's something that would be a good fit for you. And I'd love to have you join. Okay, well, let's get started. Come to the top of your mat. We'll start standing today with a wide stance, at least hip distance apart. Reach your arms up above your head and take your left wrist with your right hand. Inhale, lengthen up, and then side bend over to the right. Inhale, let that go, reach tall, feel your spine lengthen, and exhale, side bend the other way, taking a hold of your right wrist. Reach back up, inhale, lengthen, interlace your fingers, and then slightly bend your knees like a light chair pose that we worked on in day four. Reach forward with your hands still interlaced. Hold here for a couple of breaths. And then we're gonna twist. So open up your right arm back behind you and turn your torso to the right. Now bring that hand back forward, meeting the left hand and do the same on the other side. Reaching back behind you into a twist. Moving your left shoulder back, light bend in the knees still. And then bring that hand back Interlace your fingers. Inhale, reach all the way up, lift the heart, and exhale, forward fold. So bring your hands down through center, and then release all the way down on the mat. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins and come up halfway. So your spine is long here. You have a slight engagement of the shoulder blades reaching for one another. And then exhale, let it go back into a forward fold. Bend your knees, rise all the way up and sweep your arms up to the sky. And exhale, hands down to your heart. So that is one half sun salutation. Let's do that a couple of times. Inhale, sweep the arms up, lift the heart. Exhale, forward fold, all the way down, release the head. Inhale, come up halfway kind of a flat back here. And then exhale, release it back down into your forward fold. Bend your knees, rise all the way up and sweep your arms up to the sky. And then exhale, hands return to your heart to finish it off. Let's do one more, inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands down to your heart. Beautiful. Take a few breaths here with your eyes closed, just checking back in with your breath, with how your energy feels today. If you were exhaling when I was inhaling or vice versa, let that go. It's no big deal. It will come with time. As long as you are breathing, you're doing great. Now open your eyes, revisiting warrior one from yesterday. Step the left foot way back behind you at an angle, both feet flat. Deep bend in the front knee if your knee allows. And then reach your arms up to the sky, straighten the front leg, adding on, moving into pyramid. Reach forward, hinge from the hips, keeping a long spine, and then release your hands down to your shin, to your ankle. Let's go ahead and release into a full forward fold. So your legs are straight, your feet are flat, and you're just folded over this front leg for pyramid pose. If you do have a yoga block, this is a great place to have a yoga block on the inside of your right foot. Bend your front knee, stay low, and then sweep your arms all the way back up to warrior one. Take a breath in here, palms together, and step forward on your exhale. Beautiful, let's do the other side. Step your right foot way back, 
take your time adjusting your lower body. Remember to have plenty of space in between your feet. Feel the strength of your lower body. And then when you're settled, sweep your arms up to the sky. There's a lift of the chest here, just a light back bend. And then straighten your front leg, hinge from the hips, come straight down, reaching forward. And then letting your hands release down to your ankle, to the mat, to the, your shin, wherever they may land is fine. And then you can let your upper body just fold over the leg. Check in with your breath here as you hold the stretch. And then bend the front knee, stay low, feel your feet pressing on the mat to rise all the way back up to warrior one. Inhale here, draw your palms together and exhale, step forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. And now exhale, palms down and step back to tabletop. Now sit down and bring your feet around in front of you to lie down on your back. Let's do a little core on the way down. So dig your heels into the mat. Think of wrinkling up the yoga mat between your heels and your hips, palms open, and as smoothly as you can, come to lie all the way back, feeling your core engage. Don't let yourself kerplop at the end if you can help it. If you do, that's okay. It'll get stronger, it'll get smoother. Now, keep your knees bent and your feet flat on the mat and walk your heels up towards your hips as close as you can, setting up for bridge pose. Arms long by your side, palms down. And then press into your feet, especially the heels, to lift your hips up to the sky. Shuffle your shoulder blades under you and then lift the chest on every inhale. The chest rises, the chest moves towards your chin. And continue to press into your feet. Your hips are going as high as you feel comfortable. You're looking straight up to the sky or the ceiling. I wish we could all be doing yoga outside. That would be fantastic. Keep breathing steady here in bridge pose. And if you notice this is uncomfortable for your low back area, play with a different engagement of your glutes, your rear. So you can try engaging a little more, thinking of moving your tailbone towards your heels. And see if that shifts anything. On your next exhale, slowly lower down, feeling every part of your spine touch the mat. Release that low back by just letting your knees fall side to side. And then both feet flat, back to center. Draw your right knee in towards your chest and a little to the right, towards the right armpit. Extend your left leg out long. Now take that right knee and guide it across your body for a twist. You can extend your right arm out into a T or a cactus, the 90 degree angle. Look towards that right hand for supine twist. Focus on your breath here. And you can take this twist as deep or as gentle as you like, just whatever feels good in your body. You want a little stretch. Draw the knee back in. Now this time, take your hands underneath the knee and stretch the leg up to the sky, pressing up through the heel. Breathing into the sensation on the back of your leg. Maybe rolling your ankle around, bringing some movement into that ankle. And then bend that knee. Release the leg, stretch it out long next to the left leg, and then draw the left knee in towards your body. Once again, a little, a little bit to the left, towards your left armpit. 
Now guide that knee across your body for your twist, looking out towards the left hand this time. You can close your eyes here. We're starting to slow everything down a bit. And then draw that knee back in. Take your hands underneath the knee and stretch the foot up to the ceiling, pressing through the heel, breathing into the sensation on the back of your leg. And then let's bring a little roll to the left ankle. All this wonderful movement, little movement for our body, our joints. Getting into those little areas that, that don't get a lot of movement during the day usually. And then bend that knee. Now draw the right knee up to meet the left. Widen your knees a bit, moving into happy baby. So take hold of either the outsides of your feet or your ankles or the back of your knees even, whatever is easy for you to take hold of. And then pull down. So your knees are coming in towards your armpits. The soles of your feet are facing straight up. Close your eyes and then bring a little rock side to side, massaging your spine. If this is too much, you can just do one leg at a time. That's an option too. So that would look like this. Always listen to your body. You want that balance of ease and effort. Now rock back to stillness. Release your feet, hug everything into a tiny, tight little ball. You can lift your shoulders up off the mat, scrunch your eyes, scrunch your toes, bring as much tightness and tension to this as you can, and then see if you can take a breath and on your exhale, release everything out into your Shavasana, your final resting pose, whatever feels good today for you to rest in for a bit in stillness. Take your time settling in. And once you get there, do a quick body scan and notice if you're holding on to any tension or tightness. And see if you can let that go. Send some softness to that area. Notice how you're being supported and held by the earth. And then let go of all effort and practice stillness. I'll guide you out in just a moment. Wiggle your fingers, your toes. Slowly start to bring some small movements back into your body, waking yourself up. And then make your way back up to a seat, taking your time. Take one last moment to really tune into your breath and notice how you feel. And then draw your palms together in front of your heart. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste. And that's it. That's all five days. You did it. I'm proud of you. You should feel proud of yourself. 
Thank you so much for joining me along this journey. And if you are wondering what your next step is, if you don't want this to end, if you don't want your yoga experience, your yoga journey to end, please come join me at my online yoga studio and monthly membership and community, Lifelong Yoga. It's at lifelong.yoga. It's that simple. So come check it out. I would absolutely love to have you join us. Take care. I wish you the very, very best.